What a great day for a run. Good morning. First run back out. It is Squid Games for runners time. I'm down here at a local park just around the corner from home. The reason why I'm here, it's honeycomb round. You've got to draw a picture on Strava. Here's the instructions here. Welcome to game two, honeycomb Strava. The aim of the game is to draw your selected shape with your run on Strava. The rules will follow, but first the shapes. Number one is triangle. Number two is star. Number three is umbrella which makes number four circle. Knowing is only half the battle. The shape must be at least 300 meters in distance. It must be free form and continuous, so no putting down markers or stopping, although you can use natural markers like bushes or trees if available. Okay, so I picked number three, so I've got to draw a bloody umbrella. How do you draw an umbrella? Anyway, what I've done, done some Google mapping, found this park, okay, I think it's pretty perfect. So what I've got, I've got a nice curved top. Should be able to run around that for the top of the umbrella. Then come back in, in the park. Nice long shaft. The biggest hurdle for me is gonna be getting 300 meters. Let's have a crack. First attempt, squid game for runners. Umbrella. Who the hell comes up with the idea to draw an umbrella? Seriously. Like octagon, something like that. Umbrella. Goodness. Okay, let's see how we go. And here we go. Attempt number one, underway. <laughs> So I'm using these trees in this park. No cones or anything. Just brought up my first effort. It was 400 meters. The handle wasn't as bad as I'd thought. I'm keeping the hook. I will shorten it that little bit. But the big thing that I've missed on this one, like it's pretty bloody good, except it looks a bit like a mushroom at the top. So I need to elongate those little ridges at the bottom more. Okay, attempt number two. Here we go. Away we go. Oh, I need to put the top in. There's a little point at the top on the picture that they gave us. So I just gotta make sure that goes in. Excellent. And need to elongate these ridges. Who put these trees in the way? Last few of those ridges. <laughs> Turn. And stop. Ah, oh, the tracks didn't meet up. Uh, that's so annoying. I know I went back to the same spot. Looking at mine, I did a better job of accentuating the hanging bits. My top is a little bit misshapen this time. I think I'm gonna try and widen it a little bit. We'll pick the best one and we'll submit that. So let's move over here. Let's try and widen the top. Let's go for attempt number three. Let's get this right. Here we go. Under the trees. <sighs> oh. 
and stop. <sighs> Okay, that's my three attempts done. It's really, really hard through this section here. I'm trying to use the trees as natural markers. They're a bit of a curse, because yes, they're in a stagnant place, but they interrupt your GPS. I just realized you can't see a thing that I'm doing. Uh, that's better. Fingers crossed, that was okay. I'm just gonna jog home now. I might give myself another day before I run properly. We'll just leave it there for today. Just as the rains come down, check this out. This is life in Cairns in summer. Oh, this is why I'm wearing a hat. It's not to um, not to keep the sun off, but to keep the rain out of my face. Okay, pro tip, if it's raining, wear a hat. I'm gonna get Kate to help me decide which one I submit. Hang on, submit the results. Hey guys, so hopefully there's enough of a gap between the rain and you can actually hear me as to what's going on. Three attempts, done and dusted. I've chosen the third picture, okay, as you can see on screen. Uh, it's the best umbrella-y looking one. I've submitted that, but now I'm not sure if I've made it. One of the rules was... The shape has to be complete, no gaps. And there's that tiny little gap, and it depends which map you look at. If you click into the map itself, you can see that the dots do overlap each other, but then if you look at the Strava scroll, you can see that tiny little gap, so I don't know. I ticked the yes, I hope I am through, but I don't know. I'll find out via email on Wednesday. So what do you think? Should I be through? Is my umbrella good enough? Let me know down in the comments what you think. Should I go through to round three or not? Fingers crossed, hoping that I go through, but we'll see what happens on Wednesday. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.